Hey everyone, in today's video, I wanna show you how to use Microsoft Teams. And Microsoft Teams is available for Mac, for PC, on the browser, on the web, and for iOS and Android, all those devices. Right now, for this video, I'm gonna focus on the web and the desktop version. They're identical. I'm gonna show you how to use it on Mac or PC. I'll make a separate video on how to use it on the mobile device, and I'll put a link to that in the description below this video. Now, Microsoft Teams is intended for collaborating with coworkers or doing virtual meetings for classrooms and things like a classroom where you could basically get a group of people in one place and work on the same project or do presentations in the form of a video chat, for example. Microsoft Teams is a little bit unique compared to the other apps out there because Microsoft owns other apps like Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, so you could collaborate on those with other team members in real time. So that makes it really powerful. You could also use it to video chat. I'm gonna show you that as well. It also has a powerful chat platform where you could go ahead and chat and reduce your emails. So first, let's go ahead and make a Microsoft Teams account. Now, anybody could join a Microsoft Teams account and anybody could create one. What was a little confusing to me is even if you have Office 365, the personal edition, the business edition is what Microsoft Teams is on. It is not on the personal edition. So I'm gonna show you exactly where to get it, where to install it, how to get started for free. To get a Microsoft Teams account, just click the link below this video to come to products.office.com and you basically could get Microsoft Teams on this page. If you come all the way to the bottom of this page actually, there's an option to sign up for free and it will be just a freemium model where you get some things for free and then you have to upgrade to get the full access. Again, this is part of Office 365 business. Go through the sign up process here. If you're using it for work, for school, for family or friends, make your selections. And you do need a regular Microsoft account. So if you have Skype or if you have any Microsoft product, you already have this. If you don't, you could just go ahead and press create an account and type in your first name, your last name, your company, your country, and then sign up for Microsoft Teams. And if you see this page, you could just go ahead and start with the web app instead. I'll show you how to get the desktop, Mac, or PC version, but the web app is pretty identical and you could get started with it right here. And you're finally on the home page of the Microsoft Teams application. And now that we're inside of Microsoft Teams platform here, let me just show you here on the left side what you have. You have your activities tab, which is gonna show you every time you get a reply or you get a notification or someone mentions you in the chat option, you'll see that here. So this is a good place to always come and check your feed here. Then you have your chat option here where you could do private calls and chats, very useful for having private conversations. And then inside of the Teams, I'm gonna come back to in a second, but mostly everything that we're gonna look at is gonna take place in here. You have your calls option, again, where you could initiate calls here just by pressing make a call here, very simple. And then you have your file sharing option inside of Microsoft Team, and it has access to OneDrive, that's the Microsoft Cloud Storage capability. You could also come way down here also and press download the app, and if you do that, it's gonna download the Microsoft Teams app. Now it looks identical to what's happening on the web version here, but let me go ahead and just press this. It will do it for Mac or PC depending on what platform you're on. So I'll go ahead and press that here and I'll just install it just to show you what it looks like. So now let me just search for Teams here now that I installed it on my Mac and then it's gonna require the sign-in. Again, the same email and password that you use for the web version. And it's gonna pull up all the Teams you have. If you press continue on this page, it's gonna take you to the app. Now, as you could see, it's identical to what we were just looking at on the web version. So if I go to the web version here and I go to the desktop version, it looks exactly the same. So I'm gonna minimize the desktop version. I just wanted to show you that everything I'm gonna show you here on the website is the same on the app. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is we either wanna create or join a team. So press create a team here and since I'm the owner of this, I'm gonna be able to create other teams as well. So I could build a team from scratch or creating from existing teams or groups that I already have. So if I wanted to make a second team here, I could make a private one, a public one, or an organization wide one. So in this case, let's just do a private one where people need permission to join. And I'm gonna call this finance and I'll press create. And then it's gonna tell me to add people to the teams. 
I'm gonna skip that for now. But now, as you can see, I have two different teams. I have the Halfinity team up here and I have the Finance team next to it. So I could create more teams here and have a bunch of teams laid out on their teams. This is great if you're running a classroom, for example, and you have multiple classrooms, you could do multiple teams and assign students there. Or if you're running a company for marketing, for finance, for PR, you could have different departments there under different teams. So now we wanna invite people to join us. So we could go down here and invite people to this entire organization, and then we could assign them to different teams. So I usually send people this link here to be invited to the full organization or the classroom or the school. And then you could invite people here from your contact list or from email. So this is one of the easiest ways if you just go ahead and press the email option, it will already bring up this page where you could just add a bunch of different emails and people's name and send them. Once they get this email, they just basically click one link and then it will require them to make a Microsoft account. They most likely already have a Microsoft account. This is just a regular Microsoft account. And then they'll be able to join this team. Once they are invited, so I just did this and I invited another person here, I could jump into one of my teams over here. So I'll go to the finance team, for example, and I'll press add more people. And then I could pick the person that I just invited to the whole organization. They pressed OK, they signed up, and now I could just go ahead and press add. And I could make sure if I want them to be a member or the owner of this team. So I could always change that over here and I'm done. So now you could see that that demo account that I have is been added to this team. Now I could create channel. So let me explain this. If I press create channel, I'll name the channel. I'll call this video discussions. You could have a description here. Privacy is very important. If you need to make this private or standard that's accessible to everyone in this team, that's fine. And I'll check this on here and I'll press add. Now you could see this channel has been created. There's a general channel that always gets made by default. And then there's a different one that I just created. And I could come over here and start my chat. And then everybody in this group could see what I typed out. I could use the at mention sign. So I could put the at mention sign and mention Dan here, select his name, and then send him a message. And then he will get it this way and he will get a notification that he got a message. I have the account set up on this other computer. So that's the ding you heard. And they got a little notification that they were tagged. Also on top of this page, you have a files option where you could look at the different files that you're sharing here. So you could drag a file here and have a discussion here. And then you have a wiki where you could have conversations and take notes here and everybody could come on this wiki to see what this discussion was all about. Very useful on top of this page here. You could always press the plus sign as well to add more elements here for your team to collaborate on like Excel or PDF or Word, all these different things are available to add. So if I was to add Word, for example, here, I could have a discussion about that. Let me come back to the post here and let me show you some of these other options underneath. So you could have some formatting option for formatting your text. You could attach files here from your computer or from OneDrive. You could also go ahead and send emojis and GIFs and stickers. And we have the meet now option. Now that's what I'm gonna focus on right now. Let me go ahead and press that. And it's gonna get access to my camera and it's gonna get access to my microphone. And as you could see here, you could go ahead and put your title up here. And nobody could see what I'm doing just yet. I have to go ahead and press meet now. So I could turn off my camera if I wanted to. And if I'm ready, I could leave it on and I'll press meet now. And let me show you all your options inside of the video chat application here. So you could again, turn off your camera. You could turn that on and off. You could turn off or mute your microphone. That's this option here. You could go ahead and press share here and share any number of things like your screen. If you press this, it's gonna share your screen here. You could also share different assets like PowerPoint. You could do a whiteboard here. If I press whiteboard, it's gonna load a whiteboard where I could draw different things on here. Very useful option. So as you could see, I could just draw, there's different options with colors and there's a racer option. So you could go ahead and explore this option on your own. When you're done with this page, you could stop presenting and it'll bring you back to the video page. You have a show conversations tab here where you could have conversations on the side with all these different options again, like gifts and attachments. So you could have just a standalone conversation over here and then everybody in this meeting could see that. You could show participants here. So everybody that's a participant is over here. Dan hasn't joined, but I'm the organizer. And when this other person joins, 
they will be seen here and I could go ahead and invite other people over here as well. Or I could go ahead and press copy join information and I could go ahead and paste this to other people. So let me go back to notes here and I'll press paste and press that. So basically anybody now that clicks this, if I email this to someone, for example, they could jo join this conversation. Now some other options are these three dots. If you press them, you could do show device settings. This is very useful. I could see what speaker I'm using, what microphone, my camera. So if I wanted to change my microphone, if I had a USB mic connected, for example, for better sound quality, I could go ahead and press that. Or if I had a different camera connected, I could go ahead and change that here. And let me press X here. So if you have any issues with your video or audio, that's the place to go ahead and fix that. Show meeting notes. This option is really useful because you could go ahead and press take notes or somebody in the meeting could press take notes and you could take notes from the meeting. So then everybody would capture what's going on in this meeting the important notes about this and you could go ahead and add sections to it. Really, really useful. Let me go ahead and end this meeting here. And now as you could see over here on the same channel, basically on the same team, I have meeting notes now because I just took some meeting notes on the previous one that will show up over here. Very useful option. Let me show you this private chat option as well. Right here on the left side, I'm on teams. I could come up here to chats and I could go ahead and basically press this little option over here to invite people and have a private chat with them. So I'll invite someone, again, someone that is part of this organization that I already invited to this app and I'll go ahead and type something and then they'll receive it on their end over here. And I could basically mark the message too as important or urgent here instead of the default standard if I want to. And you have all those other options as well, like sending attachments, sending praise, so I could go ahead and send this praise, for example, to this demo account. And inside of this application, inside of this private chat, I have the call and video chat option too. So if I press video right here, it's gonna let me have a one-on-one -on -one conversation over here inside of the video chat. They're getting the request, I'm gonna turn on theirs. So I turned off the camera and the microphone to this test account over here, a different computer than the laptop I'm on, but they basically are able to see me here and hear me. And I, again, I could go ahead and share my screen, share a PowerPoint. If you don't see the PowerPoint option, you could go ahead and press browse here and upload it from a computer or from your OneDrive. You could show participants here and invite more people to this call. So very much like the other ones that we looked at under the team tab. I'll go ahead and hang up and it ended the call on their end as well. So let me go back to Teams here and let me show you how to add a file that you wanna work on with someone. You could go to the files tab here and then you could go ahead and upload a file here from your computer, for example, or you could drag a file over here. So I'll drag a Word document over here. And now anybody here under this video discussions tab is gonna be able to go to files and they're gonna be able to see this file and they could click on the file and they could go ahead and make changes to it in real time. So I could make changes to it and a different account could make changes to it and you're gonna be able to see that here on real time. And you could do this with number of different documents like Word, PowerPoint, Excel, just by adding it here to that file page. So I'll go back to this Teams tab. Again, that's right here under Files and it's over here. I could press the three dots over here and do a number of things to it like deleting it or renaming it or copying it if I don't wanna work on the original here. And that's a how-to overview of using Microsoft Teams. Again, there's a lot of different options, a lot of advanced options in Teams, but I wanted to make it as brief as possible to show you all the most important options that I think most people will use all the time. And I have a lot of other videos like alternatives to Microsoft Teams on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and you check out these videos to see which one is a good fit for you and your team. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.